Hey, I'm Jeremy. I'm Neil. And I'm Kevin. We're in a data member. You asked us questions. We're going to try to answer them. So let's, uh, let's jump right into it, guys. Let's see. What do you got to say? OK. That one. Choose. Yes. That's like four or ten. Yeah, I took a bunch. Ooh. Travis Wayne Stanifer. What a beautiful name. Hope I pronounced that right. What's your biggest what the fuck moment on tour? Uh, my biggest what the fuck moment was when I um, almost fell off the stage whenever one of the cops ran at me. Bing. He ran at me and he hit me with his shoulder. He almost fell off the stage, yeah. like literally on the tips of his toes. I almost killed one of the cops. It happens. I would have had a three star rating if this was GTA. I, uh, I, went a, I went a little ways a few years back, a stint of not wearing underwear, um, and then I ripped my pants one night from like right up in the middle midsection here all the way to the back of my asshole. And uh, yeah, uh, we were two songs into the set and I had to play a good seven more songs with my legs closed. So it looked pretty funny. You could have just played it off as like, you sat in chewing gum. I tried, look it up, it's probably on YouTube somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> it was in Detroit on the Dead Wars Prada tour. True. Yeah. I don't really have one that I can think of. Every day that we have catering is pretty well. Kylie English. Her room is green right now. What color should she paint it? <clears throat> yellow. I think yellow too. I mean, it all really depends on Europe. what. what is your sign, you know? Uh, What's your horoscope of the day? And uh, what kind of chi are you trying to achieve? And feng shui at the same time. Yeah. Okay. And then paint it that color. So yellow. Yeah. <clears throat> Michelle Perez, how do you manage to keep it real? I think Clarissa explained it all, really. Um, she, what did she explain? How to keep it real. She just, you know, you got to have a pool in your bedroom with a gator in it. You gotta have your friend that can always seem to get in your window without anyone knowing. Kinda creepy, but all right. At least she knows he's coming though, because the music always plays. That's what she said. That's saying. true, so there is a little bit of a warning, kinda like a courtesy knock. <laughs> or flush. Ooh. Next question. Oh, I'm picking these now? Well, actually I still have one too. All right. Do that. Stephanie Gonzalez, who are your role models? Um, I would say one of my role models is Jesus and uh, Mark Hoppus. And ASAP Ferg. Oh, well, yeah. I mean, he's... Goes without saying. I thought that he was under the encompass of Jesus. Oh, okay. Trap Lord. My role model is Neil. Armstrong? Westfall. No, what? No, it's not. I mean, now he knows. This was my time to tell him. Mm. Neil. Yeah, mine is Neil Armstrong because, you know, even after you lost that nut, I'm really glad that you still won the Tour de France. Maria Grace uh, Monet. <laughs> that, that's not it at all. You're, you I'm have really a really, sorry. really hard to pronounce French name, and I like it. It's yeah. not, I don't think it's French at all, but okay. I, but no, whatever it, it is, I like it. Yeah. Anyways, the question, do you have any pre-show rituals? Yes. Yeah, we do. We always have to pound each other. Okay. Not the gross way, you perverts. Mm -hmm. Like this, pound. Like that. And uh, But. You have, have to have your instrument on. Okay. And if you don't, you don't get one. Right. Yep. That's right. I actually turn people away sometimes because they don't have their instruments. Also, Absolutely. Kevin has to clip my in-ear thing to the back of my shirt because he's the only one who can do it right. <laughs> Joel <laughs> Collins. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> what songs are, are you most proud of? Are we most proud of? I personally like I'm very proud of TLC for writing Don't Go Chasing Waterfalls because that's a beautiful song. You know, I was singing the same thing. Are, they, are we supposed to talk about our songs? I think it didn't specify. So. Well, um, wait, what does it say? What songs are you most proud of? I think we're spot on with that. Yeah. yeah. Well, I, I kind of like Sometimes You're the Hammer and Sometimes You're the Nail. I'm pretty proud of it. Yeah. Current record, I really like Best of Me. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that one's. I like, should... uh, I like City of Ocala. Cool. Carrie Lassie. Lassic. Who is your favorite band to tour with? I would say. Of Mice and Men. Ghosts Inside. Yep. Uh, Devil Wears Prada. 
cool. Parkway Drive. Uh, Jesus, because we tour with his band every day. Seems to be a recurring theme there. Kylie English, how the hell did you get two questions in here? But, um, and how did I get both of them? Would you rather have a duck-sized tiger or a tiger-sized duck? Well, clearly, I would rather have a duck-sized tiger because yeah, tigers are sick. That's a tiger cub. And if you can't maul me, I would love to chill with them as much as I possibly Wait, can. Wait, hold on. She said sized, so like the height, yeah. not a tiger that is shaped like a duck. No, um, the size of the duck. So and then, but it. then because a, if you had a tiger duck, that's sick. Like yeah. if it was the two animals in one. I don't know. I still would just mm -hmm. rather. Like a tiger, a what kind of food would wax? a tiger duck eat? That's a good question. Where's Bill Nye when somebody you, just when said you red meat? Him? They would definitely eat red meat. Red, red meat? meat. Ooh. I get it. Gotcha. I don't get it. My get bad. It. I didn't hear the joke. I get that it. low voice is coming out of nowhere and it's barely <laughs> audible. Okay, next question. Anyways, next question. that's a long one. There you go, Jay, read that one. Dylan Matey. <laughs> Dylan Matey. I just wanted to pronounce it <laughs> that way. He's a Matey. Uh, is anything ever going to happen with that song you guys come up with that had the rapping in it? Will you ever finish it and find someone other than Rick Ross, seeing as apparently you guys are Satanists? Uh, well, he asked if we were Satanists. We told him no. Uh, so either he didn't believe us, or he just thought our song sucked. Or he is a Satanist and he we didn't live so up to right, standards. That is also a possibility. Uh, what's ever going to happen to the song? Uh, well, we it'd still, be cool to finish it one day. We still day. have it, yeah. I think it's, we could finish it. Yeah, it's just not done. The guy who was doing the whole like rap beat portion of it kind of fell off the earth. <laughs> People in the rap industry tend to do that a lot. It's really hard to get in touch with them. Any of you guys know him, weird. just tell him to just send yeah, him get back way. to us. We'd love to finish this song that we started with you like two years ago. Yes. Be cool. Nathaniel Davis. What do you think of fan tattoos? I think it's awesome. I love fan tattoos. I I, I, think it's cool. I personally have a fan tattoo of another band. Me too, actually. And so Me I too. can completely relate as to why someone would want to do that. Why don't you show yours, Neil? It's a, it's a small band. They're called Blink-182, right here. You like my hand pose? It's kind of oh, like yeah. a T-Rex. They changed my life, and I thought that I needed to get a tattoo. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So did I. I had a very similar experience right back here. I think it's this side of my head, right? Yeah, you're too far. Am I too far? You back. Yeah, there you go. It's the MXPX logo. Some people think it's Tommy Pickles from the Rugrats. Which equally is as cool. Tommy Pickles would be a badass tattoo. It yeah. would be, but it's actually MXPX. Okay. And I have an Allman Brothers tattoo for my dad so that he would let me get more tattoos. <laughs> there you go. So we that's, approve. That's a, sm <laughs> that's a smart thinking right there, Mr. Scaff. Thank you. If you want fans to take one thing from this album, what would it be? We know how to play music. I promise. Sometimes. Sometimes. That's what I want them to take from it. I read you. Yeah. Read you loud and clear. Good. What do you want them to take from it? I don't really have anything specific. Just, I hope you like it. Definitely. Next question. Moving right along. Connor Pappas. What is the story behind the illustrations in the album booklet? Uh, story behind the illustration. It's kind of like uh, how, how the world, well, it's supposed to be like how the world is, like when people are, you know, like, to your face, behind your back kind of thing, two different perspectives, what the world's like from those angles. And Common Courtesy was just kind of uh, our way of saying we should all be better to one another. 